What's happening guys? Today I'm going to be taking this Audi A1 grill and preparing it to be sprayed to gloss black. The car this belongs to in question is an Audi A1 S-Line Black Edition so it should have been black already. Unfortunately it was involved in an accident. The whole front needed changing. Though this was bought along with some other parts came off of a normal S-Line Hence the reason why it's grey and potentially has a difference in design from the Black Edition. So we'll be getting it prepped and ready for spraying to get it back to its original gloss black. So as you can see the grill's already been removed from the bumper, which wasn't the easiest thing. Uh, I guess the easier part would be the four screws located here, here, here and here. Um, you would then also need to pull out all of, there's uh, some clips that go into here from the bumper all around the surround of this grill, as you can see, which I found to be quite a tricky task and I did break one or two these would be the actual clips I was talking about as you can see they're quite badly scraped up and scratched up from trying to use a screwdriver to force them out I'm sure it's an easier way I just didn't know of it but we got there in the end uh, I believe these are normally black as well uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to be doing those, I do quite like the grey as the back has a strip with the exact same colour so I may just leave those depending on how I feel Once you've got your bumper removed and your grills removed from your bumper you're ready to start work Okay so I've just realised the sandpaper that I'm using um, isn't numbered it just says medium it does feel a bit rough but I'm going to just try it on a small area and see how it comes out and then go from there I think this could work um, but if just bear in mind if you're using a very abrasive sandpaper just um, you just want to do it lightly I guess it does kind of scratch it so As you can see, it's bringing the paint off. So yeah, just do it very lightly. You just want to get the shine off. I shouldn't imagine that I'll be needing to do too much of this because like I said, it is quite flat anyway. It hasn't got much of a shine to it. So as you can see guys, progress. Um, this is what you want to be aiming for. Nice flat looking finish. No shine, don't worry about all the scratches. Uh, primer and a little bit of wet and dry sandpaper will get that off. Um, it's not a fast process. So take your time and get it to a point where you're happy with it. Right guys, so this should give you an idea of what it should look like when you finish step one, which is um, sanding, flattening the surface. So as you can see, it's taken away the shine. Looks quite horrible at the minute, but I'm happy with it. So step two is to wash this down with some warm soapy water, get rid of all the dirt and debris. And then we'll wet and dry it. Uh, decided I'm gonna spray everything black. So that includes the badge, I might do that maybe like a satin black just to make it stand out a bit but I'll see how that goes. But as you can see the chrome hasn't flattened very much with the sandpaper so I'm hoping that that kind of um, loses a bit of its shine when I use the wet and dry paper on it. So yeah, let's get to step two, uh, get your bucket and sponge and let's give us a nice good clean up. Okay, bucket and sponge. And just clean it like you would any other part of your car, I suppose. 
I bought a, a brush just to get into those more hard to reach places that the sponge might not get to very well so as you can see it's um, gone back to the original plastic on some of the parts which is okay there's nothing wrong with this let's try and get that off at some point wet and dry this straight away So you could use wet and dry on your um, chrome parts. It's definitely taking the shine away a lot easier than it was with the dry sandpaper. It's so easy, it's just you just literally run it over. I'm not using any force here. And if you look closely, you can kind of see that it's flattening it down. So it's taking the shine away. Feel where you've um, sanded with your dry sandpaper before, you'll feel it feels quite rough. And as soon as you go over it with the wet and dry, it's so smooth. It's lovely. Right, done. So that's step one to three complete. So we've taken the dry sandpaper and flattened the surface to get it kind of looking like this. And then we washed it just to get rid of any loose debris and dirt. Not done the best job. May have to go over that again to be fair. And then we took the wet and dry and we flattened it and smoothened it. So it's nice and smooth now and used it to also take the shine out of the chrome a little bit which hopefully you will see more when it dries you can see that bit there I think so um, after this is dried we will move on to priming the surface I think this is nice and dry now guys as it's dried you can now see the kind of finish you should have acrylic grey primer you're going to want to shake it for about a minute six months later so you just want to find something to rest your, your part on to so start spraying. Okay, so make sure you're doing it in like strokes so you don't spray too much paint in one area and cause the paint to run. If you spray too much, like just consistently, obviously the paint will just run due to having too much paint in one spot. So just um, slow bursts going side to side. So like I said, I'm just gonna do the outside of the number plates around obviously the number plate is going to cover all this inside part so I'm not going to bother spraying all of that I'm wasting my spray paint so as you can see it's starting to look grey now just try and make sure you get a light coating over 
as much of the glue as possible so when you second coat it, it leaves no um, black remaining yeah happy with that so there you see first coat on when you finish spraying just tip the can upside down like so spray it till it sprays clear just to free your um, nozzle of any spray paint so as you can see coming along nicely voila